Hey y'all. Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. I'm just Archangel Michael get my message. First, we got action. First card popping out. We got the magician. Magician in the mirror. Some of y'all may be getting into your rituals or something like that. Or maybe this is what spirit is um telling you to do. I'm also seeing like offerings and things of that nature. Y'all could be feeding your ancestors or something like that at this time. But it's something that you're manifesting or that you manifested that you're needing to take action towards. All right. Okay. We got the thinking man. Man holding a coin. So the thinking man is a conscious individual. Somebody who like knows the way they show the way. All right. Somebody could uh, have a crystal ball or... This masculine could work with crystals, or some of y'all, this masculine is psychic. They see into the future. A man holding a coin. Somebody could see something in you that you can't see. And I feel like this breaks this person's heart. Some of y'all dealing with a real empathetic masculine. This person could be older, 43, 46, 51. Or you could have known this person for 17 years, something like that. But this masculine wants to invest in you, but it's like they thinking to themselves, well, how can I invest in somebody who don't see the work within themselves? It's something like that. See, this person believes in you. Victory. Yeah, they, they feel like you guard it here or you gullible. Maybe you fall for the okie doke. That's how somebody feel. So they waiting for you like, I don't know, they had something to do with confidence or something like that. Caring connection, and then we have attachment. Some of y'all, there is a masculine in your energy, but they feel like you haven't closed the cycle with the ex. The world, temple path in reverse. This is a very spiritual person for some of y'all. This person don't believe in attachment. Somebody like, or I mean, this could be you, whoever this message is resonating for. Somebody like somebody's attached to something that's no longer like there. And even if it was, like, even if the person is there, somebody feels like somebody's not on their path. The world with the temple path in reverse, community in reverse. Or right, somebody was no good here. I don't know if this person gave you money or this person stole money from you. All right. But with the attachment right there, it's like somebody's binded to something that doesn't serve them. It's like something that you can't release. Some of y'all could be stressed out about this person or mad. Somebody feels your energy. This is why this person staying distant. All right. <clears throat> Somebody's looking into your love life. They want to know if you're attached to somebody or not. We have the initial M. This could be yours or this could be that person. Yeah, he can't love you how I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a masculine. Some of y'all, this person could be a counselor, guidance counselor, something with a thinking man. Some of y'all just show damn therapist. Some of y'all some of y'all talking to a therapist or something like that. Or this an older person who gives wise counsel. For others of you guys, there is somebody who's interested in you, but this person's attached to somebody. Something's based, uh, something's about stability, though. Somebody is attached to somebody for stability. All right, so it's a few stories here. We have cancer. Spiritual hygiene. Don't let everyone have access to you. That's what I was saying. Somebody feel like you need to close a cycle here, all right? They Or this person's not coming on your path. They like, no. All right, will the fortune reverse series of events, series of um, events taking place? Somebody got bad karma or somebody brought misfortune into somebody's life or somebody feel like this is what this person's trying to do, all right? So I feel like you got a sturdy character here. And with the cognitive th thinking, how people think leads to the arousal of your emotions. Some of y'all was like real loyal to somebody, faithful to somebody here. And 
Because look, how people think leads to the arousal of their emotions. Certain thoughts leads to distorted emotions or behavior. Somebody could feel like you're projecting a certain energy from them on a pass on them for some of you guys. All right. For others of you guys, somebody like you guarded or something like that. Um, maybe because of how good you was to somebody. It's something like that. All right. Somebody know your past with the thinking man. Somebody been looking into your connections and whatnot. And they like, what? We got such your intentions, positive vibes only. You rock my world. Yeah, somebody's like really fond of you here. Okay. We have the initial L. We also have stardom. I told you somebody know you a star. They feel like you a star. Somebody feel like you got to see the worth it within yourself. All right. Yeah, you got an ex projected on you. I wish I cried at night wishing you would come back to me. Somebody's trying to linger in your energy. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> Look down. The light pop. Oh. All right, so y'all got somebody lingering your energy. You see how they pop? That's a uh, that's significant. Hold on. Yeah, y'all got an X in your energy at this time here, and this person's projecting. This person's trying to stay attached to you energetically. This could just be for foundation for some of y'all. This is a person you have kids with. All right. Yeah, we got worried, sad, and anxious. Some of y'all got somebody real sad and depressed in your energy. All right. Some of y'all could be feeling these emotions. It's a blank. Yeah, Jaheen, put that woman first. This is shoulda, coulda, woulda for some of y'all. All right. We got Taurus. So we got Cancer and Taurus. Some of y'all could be dealing with one of the two. Betrayed, belittled, and bullied. Yeah. So some of y'all dealt with like something really toxic. Somebody knows about it. Somebody feels like you should make the offer and like it, it's something like that. Like this this person wants this person out of your energy. They can feel it. Like I said, somebody's very spiritual here. They are manifesting a positive change for you. All right. Let's see. Energy here for the collective. Your inner strength. All right. So, yeah, somebody, somebody needs to pull through. Somebody could be going through the dark night of the soul. This could be you or this person. We got crossroads and speak your truth. So, some of you guys are dealing with some things at this time. Like I said, some of you guys could be talking to a therapist. Make sure you're speaking all your truth. Don't hold anything bad because it's, you know, just get it all off your chest. It's going to make you feel better. It's going to bring you closure. Some of you could be working on this, pulling through your inner, inner strength. Maybe working on trusting people after a situation like this has occurred. All right. Yeah, we got regain balance. Yeah, taking control of your life here, taking control of your emotions. Don't let nobody control your emotions. For some of y'all, this is an ex who's having an ego death. All right. I feel like somebody did the most here, and now somebody's crying. All right. Somebody did the most, and they're crying. And they projecting in your energy. All right. Something to do with self worth. All right. Somebody's. Somebody's upset because you're showing yourself self worth. All right. This person's not used to that for some of you guys. Yeah, we got Dark Knight of the Soul. For some of y'all, this person's being confronted about what they did to you in the spiritual realm. We got inner healing. They could be working on this, or you could here. Busy and distracted. Put that woman first. Is here. Some of y'all chose yourself in a certain situation. All right. Or this is what you're learning. I feel like we're all learning that at this time here. Yeah, we got to listen to your intuition. You guys aren't listening to what people have to say anymore. If they actions aren't backing it up. This is what you guys are working on at this time. Or if you're not, this is what you need to be working on. Okay. Or we got divine masculine. Somebody's divine masculine is heartbroken here and it's due to your spiritual protection. Somebody's used to you, like the old you self-sabotaging certain situations or maybe just putting them before you. This isn't flying anymore. I feel like this is upsetting somebody. So it's like if somebody really wants to be with you past or, or present, somebody actually got to put the work into themselves here. Because I feel like somebody tried to downplay somebody. Um... 
or somebody with the cognitive thinking, somebody knew you were a loyal person. So for some of y'all, somebody did something here and they're expecting for you to act a certain way. They're attached to you. All right. Messages for the collective. All right, we got Queen of Swords. Yeah, so y'all season, or you know, you're using your um your logic this time around, and I feel like you thinking in a different manner with the Queen of Swords. This is bringing a tower into somebody's life. Five of Swords, like I said, somebody's having like a lot of mental anguish about a tower that they could have caused you, or you just standing up for yourself and defending yourself is bringing this person a tower. Somebody's not used to that. All right, Queen of Swords, we got the Eight of Swords. Okay. Let's say the swords. Some of you guys could be a counselor. Maybe this is like one of your um your clients. Eight of swords. Okay. Let me see. What's the um the page of pentacles? Yeah, somebody like whatever you're speaking here. It has somebody in their head because somebody's like, with the Page of Pentacles, they're discovering something about themselves with the moon card. Somebody really don't like this here. Knight of Wands about how they move or what they did. Somebody acted impulsively here. It could have been off of something that you said. And I do feel like somebody's going through a rebirth until it's completed. This person's blocked. Seven of Wands, okay? For others of you guys, I don't know. Somebody could be pregnant out there. Somebody could be... um feeling like a baby or, or something is a baby is restricting them seven of pentacles okay with the ace of swords yeah some of y'all finding out somebody like made a baby and y'all kicked this person out or y'all left this person alone for others of you guys, it's something that you're working on I feel like this is self-discovery here with the seven of pentacles some of you guys invested some time into something you didn't see anything grow from or something like that. I'm also seeing somebody here getting into gardening and things of that nature. If you're not, this is what you, you need to do here. It could be a masculine you're doing this, working on gardening or somebody's like it, farming. It's something with the King of Cups or to, to the Seven of Pentacles or yeah, it's like a masculine wanting to get into this. This is going to be therapeutic for you. This is also going to be a way that your ancestors can um connect to you. Okay, somebody getting back to their roots. This is somebody spiritual. They wear the um, they wear these like they wear the beads around the um, they um wrist and the beads are in their neck. Somebody do something. Somebody's doing something here with plants or something. All right. I also get yeah for some of y'all, it's like a masculine here wanting to invest in you, but somebody wants to take something really slow. With the Seven of Pentacles, some of y'all or this person, somebody dealt with a real long relationship here and they feel like it never got off the ground, moved anywhere. So somebody like watching you and I don't know, they could just tell from your tone of voice, maybe you're not healed. We got the Ten of Cups, okay. Some of y'all got a family with this person or this is what this person is aiming towards. They want a family with you, all right. What's the Ten of Cups? You're the lovers. This could be your twin for some of y'all. For some of y'all, your twin had a baby. Okay. All right. Some of y'all know this information. Y'all not saying nothing to this person or something like that. Somebody's in their mind. They want to know why you're not confronting them about a child. You're the Eight of Wands. They want to know why you're not communicating. All right. For some of y'all, Queen of Swords, I see you traveling here. You're going somewhere. Somebody's, um, this could be a work trip. All right, or this is what's uh this is what you're about to be invited on or something like that. Somebody's in their head about that. For others of you guys, like I said, you could be a therapist or a counselor, something that you're speaking here, or whatever you do for work. This got somebody in the head. All right, you have two of pentacles, six of wands. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Some of you are about to be publicly recognized for some work that you do. I don't know what you do here. Okay, page of pentacles. What's this? I'm gonna close this out. Page of Pentacles says, okay, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you got some protection here in regards to an investment. For some of y'all, somebody tried to steal something that you've invested in, copyrights or something. They are going to be burdened by this. Somebody going to try to claim something, do something. I, they ain't going to be able to. Yeah, some of y'all, this is a masculine who's doing this. 
This masculine wants to steal your work. Yeah, they, I mean, look, they ain't going to get the results they, they want to see with the Four of Cups. Somebody is really, or this is somebody trying to burden you why you're working or what you do for work. Somebody wants to burden you. Somebody wants you to be discontent or this person's discontent with your strength. They don't like it. All right. Somebody wants you to be weak, but you pull in strength. Anything, <laughs> anything else? This is when this masculine feels powerful for some of y'all. This is what this person needs to work on. If they feel powerful when you're weak or depressed. This is when this person like gets their power. Somebody's a narcissist. All right. Somebody wants you burdened, but this is blocked. You're protected by it. You're not gonna be like you're not gonna be burdened. You're not gonna be anything. This is what somebody wants. What you are going to do is be blessed. Ace of Pentacles to the Chariot. Some of y'all being blessed with a new car. For others of you guys, because somebody here is like projecting some sort of energy on you that's blocked, it's like it's about to speed up some sort of blessing. I just come in and see your life. I do see promotions here with the Emperor. All right, something that you wish for or something like that or whatever you worked on, you're about to get public recognition for it. Three of Pentacles and a, and a beautiful collaboration. I feel like you know this. For some of y'all, this has something to do with the mind. Queen of Swords to the High Priestess. Something to do with clairvoyance or psych psychic abilities. There's something here in which a collaboration is about to be formed. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of money. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Your mind here is going to make you a hell of a lot of money here. All right. That's why somebody needs to work on their healing here. Or it's something here that you can do for healing to get more higher level consciousness. Some of y'all are dealing with a heartbreak at this time. It's blocking your intuition here with the Knight of Pentacles. You are being healed slowly. But look, that God-like energy or I, I don't know, high refined to the rebirth. It's like your mind or your consciousness is being updated here. Like while you sleep, maybe something is being deposited into your mind mentally. And this is about like creativity, something that you could be doing with the mind. Something to do with that third eye. Somebody is powerful here. Somebody knows this about you. And it's like, as soon as this person gets over this damn heartbreak or whatever this is here, they won't be able to do X, Y, and Z. It's like somebody's already planning for you. Before you know what's going on, somebody already got the whole damn plan mapped out for you. For some of y'all, they watching you and they like, I don't know, this could be, I don't know if this person gives advice or a counselor or something. It's like this person is keeping track of how you're doing mentally or something. Is this a damn doctor or a therapist? Yeah, high priestess. It's somebody here who does something. This could be a scientist, a rebirth. This could be a Scorpio or a Taurus here. It's like somebody studying your mind or tracking your progress. I don't know if this is about what you know past, present, or future. Somebody's like hangman while you're sleeping. Somebody's doing something with your mind. King of Pentacles, this could be a study. It's like somebody's implanting something in your mind and they want to see if you're going to take action towards what they're telling you to do. Five of Pentacles. But others of y'all, it's like somebody wants you to delete something out your mind. And I feel like it's too po your mind is too powerful. It's not going to happen. Get an emperor. That somebody's trying to like dominate your mind. Rebirth. It's like somebody wants to install something in your mind. Or I don't know what this person doing, but yeah, I'm hearing not by might, not by power, by your spirit, guys. Somebody's trying to control you. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. Any of this resonates today, like, share, and subscribe. And once again, y'all, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. Rest in peace to all the grandmothers and the mothers. We love and appreciate all the time that we have here with you guys, right? Okay. So everybody have a blessed day and enjoy, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, y'all.